Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Sheila. And we're from Kakao Culture. We're based in Davao City, Philippines. It's been too long since our last video and we've really missed all of you. So before we dive into this new episode, we want to give a shout out to all our subscribers. We're really growing and we're almost at around 16,000 subscribers. We created this channel for us to share our knowledge about cacao, chocolates, and to share our journey as a social enterprise. We are very grateful to all of you for your patience and your support. Running our chocolate business keeps us on our toes, but we're back and ready to catch up with you all. In this episode, we'll be sharing some of last year's highlights and insights from running our own chocolate shop. If you follow us on social media, you might see some of the highlights that we have gone through in 2023 and you know what we have been up to. But for those of you who are new to the channel, please stay tuned. One of the coolest things that happened in 2023 was when a POEM senior expert, Chef Henry, visited us here in Davao all the way from the Netherlands. He spent a whole week with our team teaching us how to make all sorts of fancy chocolates like bonbons, pralines, and caramels. It was like a crash course in chocolate heaven. It was the first time for our production team to learn from an expert so that was actually a great experience for our team as well. And speaking of guests, did you remember how Daniel Corpus visited us here in Davao? Some of you might remember him from that Netflix show, School of Chocolate. It was a short visit, but that was such a fun day. Daniel and I were able to share some tips and some stories about chocolate making, and we were able to inspire each other about chocolate. Mm. Our young team of chocolate makers really got inspired about the trainings and visits that we had. And since then, we've worked on a lot of R&D for new products and flavors. We have launched more chocolate confectionaries and pastries using Philippine chocolates. And another big moment for us in 2023 was when we adopted a cacao farm. The cacao farm is situated in the facility of the Field of Dreams Orphanage here in Davao City. We adopted the cacao farm of the Field of Dreams Orphanage and helped them learn how to grow chocolate in a sustainable way. It's another way for us to share our knowledge and experience with cacao farming. We hope to adopt more farms in the area so we can continue to learn and grow cacao together. It felt really good to give back and help the kids from Field of Dreams to learn something new. Another highlight for 2023 was when we partnered with a Singapore agri startup called WasteX. They were able to provide us with an equipment that we put in our farm that we could produce bio charcoal. The cacao pods that we harvest is typically uh, just farm waste. But with WasteX, we are able to convert this into biocharcoal. It's a game changer for farmers like us to help us reduce waste at the farm, reintroduce valuable nutrients back into the soil, and improve crop yields. We have seen the impact it has on our experiments at the farm, and we will be implementing it 100% this 2024. And last but not the least, our biggest project in 2023, opening our flagship shop here in Davao City. For those of you guys who have been with us since the beginning, uh, you know that we started from the agriculture side of the business in 2016. And we have evolved and uh, grew from that. We went into manufacturing of products, to e-commerce and retail, and now Opening this flagship chocolate shop in Davao City allows us to enter a new phase of our business. We are now going into the retail and service business as we open the shop and cafe in Davao City. Designing and creating the chocolate shop was a roller coaster. We made some mistakes along the way, but it was totally worth it. We strongly believe in reigniting the culture of enjoying our local chocolates here in the Philippines. 
in whatever form. And we felt we needed to create a space where family and friends could come together and truly enjoy it. Definitely. Now our shop is more like a chocolate wonderland. We've got chocolates from all over the Philippines made by our awesome brand partners who share the same vision and passion for Philippine chocolates. You can check all of these brands on our website and in our shops. So here are the things that we learned last 2023 from running our chocolate business. Number one, learn from others. Constantly learning from others allows us to explore and open up new ideas that we probably didn't think that we have. Uh, learning from Chef Hendrik and also from Daniel allows our team, our very young team, to explore and create and innovate on the chocolate products that we now produce at the shop. Number two, the importance of collaboration. So adopting the cacao farm at the field of dreams orphanage has really been challenging for us, but it's also very fruitful because we're able to give back to the community. The, the knowledge and experience that we have in this journey we are now applying and sharing to a different farm. This is our very first Adopt a Cacao Farm project. And we are hoping that the practices, the learnings that we have uh, undergone through the years would actually change and improve the cacao farm at the Field of Dreams Orphanage. We hope that eventually it will become more sustainable for the orphanage and it will be uh, an income generating activity for them as well. Number three, learning more and more uh, sustainable practices. With us partnering with WasteX and introducing biochar into our farm, we are realizing how important it is to be a sustainable farm and a sustainable company. With the global warming affecting the global landscape of cacao and the chocolate industry, it's very, very important to really go back to the roots and focus on properly developing the cacao farms, keeping it healthy so that we can make more chocolates for you. Number four, being adaptable. So there's been a lot of changes in the cacao industry in the recent years, and especially just coming this year, 2024, we have experienced a lot of changes. And being adaptable is really very important because we don't want to be just stuck in whatever we're doing before. We should be able to learn innovations in how to do things and also maybe changing the business model to adapt to the times. Opening our chocolate shop allows us to learn more about the service industry, how people... Uh, enjoy and react to chocolate and uh, use it in different uh, things like pastries, uh, in the food, in the drinks that we serve. So those things uh, we feel that allows us to grow as a company, but also challenges us to find out how we could spread love for Philippine chocolates even more. So thank you guys for joining us in our next video. We will tour you around our flagship chocolate shop. So make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. In the meantime, make sure to check out our previous episodes. We like to talk about the how, chocolates, and entrepreneurship. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed today's video. Until next time, Keep spreading love for Philippine chocolates.